What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Quickscope. Now like I said, I'm still going to be doing the best tweaks of the week videos because you guys really seem to enjoy those, but when I come across a tweak that I think is deserving of its own review, then I'm going to do just that, and that's what I'm doing right here. I'm going to be doing a single tweak review for those tweaks, and Quickscope is really one of those. So this is probably one of the better tweaks that's come out in the past recent months, so I want to go ahead and devote some time to it and explain to you and walk you through everything that it has to offer. So what this tweet does is allow you to search your iPhone as well as input commands directly into the app switcher. So you can see right here if we activate our app switcher, you'll notice a search box right up here at the top. So if we tap on that and we type something in right here, then that's going to search our iPhone. But if we want to input a command, because this tweet has commands, then we would just tap the space bar. Now you'll know that you have a space right at the beginning because you'll see this little dial turning right here and that means that it's listening for a command. But before we get into the commands, let's go ahead and search our iPhone just to show you how quick this is. So we're just going to type in music and then it pops up just like that. So we can tap on music to open up the music app or we can search Google or Wikipedia. Now to dismiss this query or this search, all you need to do is swipe from the right to the left just like that and it's going to delete. Now like I said you do have commands with this tweak so to check out the commands just type space and see that little dial and then we're going to type in commands and then just like that you're going to get a nice little fade in animation telling you all of the commands that are available. You have play, sticky, Facebook, tweet, color, theme, nearby, help, and commands. Of course this is the command that we just typed in and help basically walks you through a tutorial so if you're having any issues with this then you can just type in space help and then it's going to walk you through a tutorial but after this video if you watch the entire thing you should get a really good idea of how this works. So we're going to dismiss this and we're going to go through some of these uh, commands right here. So we dismiss it, type a space and type in play. So this is going to bring up the most recent music that you've been listening to. So you can see that it's playing, but if we wanted to stop it, then we can just tap it, and then it says nothing is playing because we paused it. Now if we wanted to start it again, then it would bring up the album artwork, and then you can see that it started playing again, as you can see. Now if we swipe to the right, it's gonna go to the previous song, and if we swipe to the left on the album art, then it's gonna go to the next song. Now let's try a different command. Now let's try tweet. So again, remember to put that space and then tap on tweet, and then it's going to pop up a quick Twitter post. So we'll just type in test and post that, and it automatically tweets. You might have even heard that tweeting on my uh, Mac right there. Now let's type in space, and let's type in sticky, which is another command. You'll notice that we get a sticky note. Now this is going to allow us to just add a quick note right here and then have it readily available every time we type in a space sticky. So if we just type in something right here and then let's dismiss it just like that and then tap up here again and bring up sticky. There it is in all its glory with everything that we've typed in. So we're going to dismiss this now and you can do the exact same thing with Facebook. So again remember to put that space in there and then type in Facebook. Now I don't have a Facebook uh, that I use or that's connected right now so if I tap on this it's going to say that I don't have a Facebook account, but you can see right here that you can post directly to Facebook straight from Quickscope. Now if you want to change the theme or you want to change the color, then you can do that as well. So we'll just type in space, color, and then it's going to say lightning yellow or whatever color that you have. Usually the first time that you do it, it's going to say default. But if you want to change that color, then you can just swipe over just like that, and you can see that it's going to change the dial as well as the cursor color right there so let's swipe to the right you can see that it changed to blue we have red uh, darker red I'm not gonna try to read these names because some of them are kinda uh, crazy but you can see all the different colors that we have right here now let's say that we wanted to change the theme color so let's get a good one right here we'll use Krusta and then we're gonna type in space theme and then it'll show up default because I'm using the default theme. But if we start to swipe on the word, you can see that it changes and you can get this to match whatever the theme of your device is. So we have all these different ones right here. And some of them look uh, similar, but let's just use the bright lights for this one. So we're going to dismiss it, 
and now let's say you wanted to search for a movie now this is a really cool feature if we tap space and let's say we were going to look for the movie her so we'll just type in her and then we're gonna type in a space after that so that's going to say I'm looking for a movie so what that does is bring up the movie right here as you can see and you have the percentage of critics that liked it you have the percentage of the audience that liked it and then you have a quote right here as well as the cast scrolling through at the bottom so that's just a really nice touch it has that movie poster right there in the background so it looks really nice it has all the pertinent information to kind of give you a quick look at the movie who's in it and what other people thought of the movie now you also have one more feature but it's not going to work for me because I live out in the boondocks but you can see if we swipe over to clear that and then we type in space nearby this is actually supposed to search nearby locations tell you what's nearby but you can see right here that since I live out in the boondocks it says couldn't find anything but if you're in the city or anything like that then this should work pretty well but let me know what you guys think about Quickscope in the comments below. Are you guys going to be downloading it? Also, let me know if you guys like the single tweak reviews of bigger tweaks like this by hitting that like button and then letting me know in the comments. Obviously, if you want to see more videos like this, then definitely hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.